Hello everyone, it's Mark here. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you a bit of wire work, predominantly bead caps. On this rosary link lariat that I've recently made, we have two types of bead cap. We have the standalone bead cap for if you're wanting to embellish. As you can see, I've used some little gold-plated sterling silver spacer beads. Or we have the all-in-one wrapped bead cap. So I'm going to show you both of those because they use exactly the same gauge of wire and exactly the same type of tool, okay? So in this necklace, I've used eight millimeter shell pearl, but the technique I'm about to show you, you can replicate for any size bead or any shape bead that you're going to be using. So I'll just pop that to one side a second. So I'm going to be using, as I've just stated, the shell pearl, and for the standalone bead cap, I'm going to be using the little gold spacer beads there. So the wire of choice is eight millimeter, obviously, sorry, 0.8 millimeter in any choice of color. I've gone for a gold, so it would match the beads really nicely. And tools, you will need a pair of flush cutters or any other wire cutting tool. You will need a pair of round nose pliers and a pair of flat nose. So again, tools that you'll find in your basic toolkit if you've just started making jewellery. So let's get started. So we'll do the standalone bead cap first, which as I said is this one here with the little spacer beads. Okay, so you need to take off of your reel a comfortable amount of wire to work with. So I've taken a piece here which is 20 centimetres long and you will need your round nose pliers first of all to start the bead cap. So we're going to pick up our wire in my left hand in this case and I'm going to take my right my round nose pliers right to the very tip of the plier and also to the tip of the wire of the pliers and I'm just going to simply wrap once so in effect you're making a little eye pin loop so you can see the little circle there and then taking your flat nose pliers we're going to do a closed snail swirl or a scroll and what we're going to do is we're going to count 20 moves. So I'm holding the wire in the plier this time, not through. And I'm going to hold that nicely. I'm just going to go one, two, three. And each time I'm counting, I'm lifting the plier, turning, lifting, grabbing, turning, lifting, grabbing, turning. So it's that motion all the time. And it's, it's between 15 and 20 moves, depending on how large you need your bead cap to be. So I'm just going to move and move and move. And if we were bead caging, we would have a couple of millimetres space in between our scrolling. But we want to make a bead cap, so we need it to be nice and tight. So you can see we have a tight swirl. And then we're going to use our flush cutters and we're going to cut nice and tight up against our swirl. Like so, and then we'll make another one. So again, you've got your plenty of wire left. So round those pliers to the end. I'm going to make a letter P, so a little eye pin loop. Swap to your flat nose, and then we're going to do our little swirl. So you're holding and turning, letting go, grabbing, turning, and every time you're just moving that snail swirl ever so slightly so you can get that nice little coil. Okay, make sure it's a similar size to the first one we made. That looks perfect. Again, we're going to take our flush cutter pliers and we're going to cut just where the wire meets the coil. Like so. So we now have our two coils. So to turn them into caps, what we're going to do is we're going to take our round nose pliers that we've just used to start our swirl, and we're going to pop one of the mandrills inside that little loop we've just made, and we're just going to manipulate the wire ever so slightly so we get a domed effect. Pop that back on so you can you see we get a domed effect. So we're going to repeat the same with the second. I'm going to pop that in, and then we're just going to gradually just manipulate it over the round nose plier. Don't go too far. Take your time. 
Okay, so we have our two bead caps. So then we need to choose a wire gauge for our rosary linking, of which this is going to be a feature. So I've gone for a 0.6 millimeter. But if you've um, not rosary linked before, it might be a good idea just to start with a, a 0.4 instead. And I've actually, if you look back on my guest designer jewelry maker page, my Facebook page, I've actually done a, a demo a couple of weeks ago on rosary linking for beginners. So I'm just going to take my pliers and I'm going to make the start of a wrap loop. Again, leave a couple of coils at the beginning. Cut off that little tail. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop on one of our little gold spacer beads on the end. Then I'm going to pick up one of my coils, domed end first, so I'm going to pop it dome end in. Then I'm going to take one of my shell pearls. Can you see it nestles in nice and nice and gently? Then I'm going to take my second dome, but flat side this time. Then I'm going to take my second little gold spacer bead, pop it on the top. I'm going to slide that down so it meets the wrapped loop that I made earlier, and I'm going to make the second wrapped loop. So again, as I said, if you look back on my guest designer page a couple of weeks ago, you will see the demonstration for the wrapped loops in rosary linking. Okay, so we're just going to make sure that's nice and secure. I'm going to cut off my tail. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go with my flat nose pliers and just give these little coils a little squidge just to make sure they're nice and neat and that the uh, little tail isn't too prominent. There we go. And if you wanted to afterwards, because six millimeter is quite a malleable, the 0.8 sorry is quite malleable, you can then go in and just give it a nice little squidge. Okay, so that's the standalone bead caps. Now for the second demonstration, I'm going to show you how we make the all-in-one wrap, which is this one here. So you can see here that there's no spacer bead embellishing at all. It's, it's a simple one piece. So for that, again, we're going to need a similar length piece of wire, about 20 centimeters. And again, this is your 0.8. You could probably do this with one millimeter if you wanted to, if you, if you had quite larger beads, but obviously your, your swirls would be a lot larger. So for this, what we're going to do is we're going to probably go about halfway down and we're going to make, can you see about halfway down, maybe a bit, probably two thirds of the way, like so. Okay, what we're going to do is we're just going to make a little letter P. So you can see we've got a letter P with a right angle. So that, that's about six centimeters, that little working tail. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pick up our bead and we're going to slide it onto the wire like so. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just make sure that that, what I tend to do is take this piece of wire and I take it round the back so it's not interfering with anything I'm doing. And then what we're going to do then is we're going to do the same. So I'm going to place my pliers in and I'm going to do a letter P. Bring that across. Okay, so we have, if you can see, we have the two pieces of wire, the little, little ears at this point. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pliers and I'm going to hold, these are my flat nose pliers, I'm going to hold the loop nice and tight. I'm just going to move that little tail out of the way there. And I'm going to take this long tail, and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to wrap it around the bead, but instead of making a wrap loop and making a coil, I'm just going to make sure that the wire sits nice and gently above the row before. So can you see? It's slowly making a little bead cap on the top. Can you see? I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to do the same with the other side. So hold on to that loop nice and tight. I'm going to take this shorter wire and I'm going to do the same. So I'm just going to 
Let's move that out of the way a little bit. You can cut this off if you want to. I'm just going to take that little piece of wire and I'm going to go round, keeping it nice and neat up against the wire that we've re that we've placed on the bead before. Okay, and I'm just going to flip it round and just reposition our little loop. And then I can go in then with my flush cutter pliers and cut off my excess. And I'd go in and give it a squidge. And I'll do the same on this side, making sure that your bead caps are the same size. You can go in and give it a little cut. Just make sure that's nice and neat. Okay, so that's your bead cap, the second version. Now if you wanted to, you could also elongate your wrap loops either end. So I'll quickly show you once more. So we've got our piece of wire, our 20 centimetres, about two thirds from one end, but this time we're going to do a full wrapped loop. So we've got our right angle. I'm going to hold on to that loop with my flat nose pliers. And I'm going to do a little coil. Let's do two. So that's one and two. So you can see the difference. So this one will have a little wrap loop at the beginning of it, whereas the one I've just made goes straight into the loop and into the into the uh, the bead cap. Then we go into our long piece of wire. We pop on our pearl. Again, I'm going to turn it away from me, so I've got that little short piece of wire in my fingers. Turn it away. I'm going to take my pliers, my round nose pliers. Again, leave the same amount of space in between the bead and your pliers to take the coil. I'm going to take that round, flip it over, hold on to the coil, and we're just going to make our little wrapped loop. Now if you do two either side, you'll notice this time that our two wires are opposite each other, which will make it a bit easier to do your coiling. So I'll stay on this longer piece of wire. So I've, I'm going to move that out of the way ever so slowly. And I'm just going to take this wire, and I'm just going to slowly wrap directly underneath the wrap previously. Go round and round and round. And I'm going to stop there. Okay, so you can see it's a nice, even bead cap. In fact, let's cut it off. It won't be in the way then. So I'm just going to go in and cut it off. And then just give it a little squidge. Then we'll do the same with the second side. So I'm going to hold with my flat nose pliers. I'm just going to take that tail and I'm just going to wrap it around underneath, directly underneath the wire before it, flip it over. And again, make sure that you cut off your little end at the bottom and then we'll go in and give it a little squidge. Okay, so we've actually got three different types of bead cap there. So we've got our standalone so you have to do those separately to incorporate a little bead then we've got our non-wrapped loop bead cap and then we have our wrapped loop bead cap so three different types of bead cap and as you can see on the necklace i've made i've just rosary linked with a plain shell pearl in between the embellished just to add a bit of a bit of length and a bit of decor. So I hope you found that demonstration useful. So you've got three different ways of making your own bead caps and as I said depending on the size of the bead you determine how many of the wraps and the length of wire that you will have to get from your stash. So I hope you enjoyed that and I'll look forward to sharing more demonstrations with you soon. Bye bye!